Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to show the corresponding values from the database when you select some cell in this table view. So for example, I select this employee ID column second cell. So it shows the corresponding values from the database in these line edit. I can select from the column name also any cell and the corresponding value comes here. In this video, I want to show you how to do the same thing with this list view. So I wanted that if I select some item from the list view, the corresponding value should appear in this these line edits. So let's see how can I do it. First of all, I go to my line edit and I select it and I right click and go to slots and I will select first item from here which is activated and click OK and in here I will write my code so in this video I'm going to use uh, the code which I have uh, used in the last video so if you have seen that video it will be very easy for you to follow this video and I will paste the same code here and I will explain what I'm doing here so first of all last in the last video I was taking the index of the table and whatever cell I select from in the table I take the index of that table and I take the value of the index whatever string is there in the index and I pass it into the Q string which is a string. The same thing I will do it for the list box. So just I instead of this table view, I will use UI list view and take the model of that and whatever index I select, I will transfer the value of index here. And in this code, I'm just creating the object with login class, which contains my open connection and open uh, connection open and connection close class so first of all I'm checking whether my database is open or not and then database I'm opening the database and then I am creating the queue SQL query object to write my query and with this query object I prepare uh, the query so in the last video I have shown you how to prepare the query for the table uh, because the table has multiple indexes or two dimensional cell, cell cells it has columns and rows that's why I have uh, written the query that select star from your table where employee ID which is my first column is equal to the value or my second column is equal to value this, this is the columns from the database but because list view don't have two dimensional cells cell arrays so i can just use only one column which is employee id and because my list view right now is showing the employee ids that's why i am taking here select star from employee info where my employee id is equal to the value which i'm taking from the list box right and then if my query is executed I take all the values which I am getting from the database and I am transferring it to the edit line edit so this uh, I have explained in the last video also so I think uh, this code will just do it for you so if you want you can just pause the video and copy this all code and after that I will run my program and username and password and I will load my data here and this list box right now is showing the employee ID which is there in the database you can see it here I have nine employees so nine employee IDs I'm, I can see here and when I select some employee ID right now it's showing employee ID 1 I select employee ID 3 so you can see here 
the corresponding data of employee ID 3 comes here, right? Employee ID 5, corresponding data of employee ID 5 comes here, right? 2, 4, so in this way you can show the corresponding value to the selected uh, list view item in the line edits. So I hope you have uh, learned something new this time. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.